Hi, so if your Rainbow Six Siege is not launching on Ubisoft, these are a few steps you can take to try to fix that. So the first thing you can do is run your game as administrator. So we can see I have my Rainbow Six Siege right here on my desktop. You can go ahead and right click on that, go to properties, and we will see because this is a shortcut, it will not allow you to go to the compatibility modes and to all of the admin preferences. So if you have a shortcut, as most of you probably do, you need to find the Rainbow Six Siege file in your files. I already have it pulled up here and this is my path, so I have it in my D drive. Then you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Rainbow Six Siege. I'm just going to go through it just to show you how that path looks like. So we go to Steam, wherever your Steam file is uh, located, your Steam folder. We, it will usually be on your C drive. And then you go to Steam Apps, you go to Common, and then here we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege and you need to scroll down until you see the actual application itself. Here it is, Rainbow Six or Rainbow Six Vulcan. And then right click on the application, properties, and we have the compatibility tab. Now in the compatibility tab, you can check this box that says run this program as an administrator. You check this box and you can try to run it in compatibility mode for let's say Windows 8 or earlier but first try it with just the run as administrator program. I'm just gonna uncheck that because I don't want it checked but you should leave it checked, click apply, OK and then try to run the game. If that doesn't work you need to try to update your graphics card drivers because your graphics card drivers um, impact most of your game experiences and um, they should be up to date most of the time. If you have AMD drivers, they have a dedicated application. But if you have uh, NVIDIA drivers, they also have a dedicated application. I'm going to show you for the NVIDIA drivers because that's what I'm running on my system. Uh, so we have GeForce Experience. And inside of GeForce Experience, you just download the program. You need to log in. After you log in, you have the option up here, Drivers. And then when you click on drivers, it's a simple, just click the up uh, the update button. I'm just not going to go through the login process because um, it takes some time to load. But you just click on drivers and there will be new drivers up to date. It's pretty easy to use. Okay, that might fix the problem, but it might not. Um, what you need to do next is try to repair your... Th th there's a package called Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable Package. Sometimes this gets uh, corrupted or it doesn't work properly. What you need to do is press window key S to open up the search or just click down on the search panel right here. You can go to control panel. In the control panel, um, we are going to go to uh, programs and features. So view by, let's do large icons. It just uh, gives us more categories. And then we are going to find programs and features right here. In programs and features, we need to find the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. And then we need to choose change. So we just click anywhere. And I, I'm just pressing the letter M to just go through all of the, um, all of the programs that are starting with M. Now, as you can see here, there are a, lo are a lot of Visual C++ redistributable. The one that you need to update is the one that is current for your system. So right now I can see that this last package, th the 2012 package was installed on 21 uh, on the 21st of um, June uh, 2024. Um, this is the latest updated package as I can see. There is one here that's 2015 to 2022. So this is the most current one because it's the last year. And then when you click, right click on it, and then you can click on change. And in the change option, you have an option to click repair. You just click on the repair and it'll do its thing. It'll find uh, whatever is missing and it'll repair the Microsoft uh, redistributable. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna cancel this. You need to try the other redistributable packages and just go through them if that first one doesn't work. The last thing you can do is verify your files on Steam. And you can verify the files on Steam pretty easily. Uh, we just need to open Steam. 
take some time to open for me for some reason. I think it's the new updates and the cluttering on the system. I'm gonna close this right now. <coughs> so we're basically just uh, with verifying the game files we want to uh, basically tell Steam to check whether all the files of the game are there on your PC. So we click on Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, right click, properties, and in the tab installed files, you have an option to verify integrity of game files. When you click this, it's just going to do a simple process. It, it takes a few minutes sometimes, depending on the size of your game. And it's just going to check whether all the files that need to be installed are installed on your machine. After that, it should be working. If that doesn't work, you do need to reinstall the whole game and try again. Good luck.